This is a tail tidy kit for the Honda CRF 450L. Um, it probably did come in a box. I've had it for a little bit. I just haven't done anything with it. Comes with no directions because online it says that you can easily figure out how to how to do it. Um, it says it's easy. It easy to install without a instruction. So, I mean, if, it, if that's what it says, it, it should definitely be that easy, right? Um, first glance, this one has five wires. The one uh, in the photograph has three. So I'm, I'm hoping that these are signal wires for the turn signals that they'll have them built in and it almost does look like it because if not I'm gonna have to run the stock ones but uh, initial feel cheap very cheap uh, obviously the wires are not I don't know if you can see that with the light or not probably not there we go the wires are not sealed off right there so any dirt and water We'll definitely get in there I'll probably have to put some type of silicone in there trying to eliminate the water coming out um yeah definitely feels cheap but should work uh, shouldn't really have I don't know shouldn't have any issues. if it doesn't work I might just take this plate off and use my stock one but yeah we'll uh Tear the old one apart and see if we can work on that thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a bolt here, 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 here. So there's four of them, pull this down. Don't mind the mud or the dirt. Should have a pan here, but of course I don't. Now we got some this clip. here for this light I'm gonna do some unhooking here and see what actually runs what I can see that these are for your turn signal I think this one these ones were obviously I cut them off earlier they were for the the stock license plate unit. I took it off because I was taking it up to the track. So those are those wires. Uh, this is your main brake light. Your black one, so your power coming in. If everything hooks up right, it should be pretty simple. Just mounting it and everything else. So, yeah. Go from there. Solid. So this has integrated LED turn signals in it. The only issue uh, with it is the housing has these big blocky, you can tell this isn't just a 
simple simple little fix there because it's you have this whole piece there was two screws right here that went up here that mounted this um, and then everything else gets mounted up in so I can't I can't really eliminate a lot of that so I'm gonna have to try to find like block off covers for this I don't know there's an easy way I can do it until I actually get it apart but but yeah that's that's how I'm doing it and I'll I'll show a, a picture here what I all the wires that way if anybody else is curious you can I'll leave it up for a little bit in the video you can pause it take a screenshot of it that way you don't have to sit there and you already know all right okay so after blown fuse and some YouTube Academy I was able to find a similar one of these on eBay um, that kind of had a little diagram to it so I have it all I can uh, I can write every, I'll write everything down I got it roughly test wired together and it works I already know what my turn signals are I got the one started here uh, I gotta do the right side so yeah I, it's it'll all be wired up I'll, I'll do a video before like I do the actual install of everything wired together so you can see it and then I'll have everything wrote down here what each one is what it goes to that way if someone else ever gets this kit they don't have to go through the headache like I did I had to get my test light out and essentially use the battery as a power probe to figure out what everything is um, so yep we're making progress on it I got the fuse changed out as you can see if anybody else is curious fuse panel is right here on the 450L I got my test light hooked up that way I could you know run and see which turn signal was which but I'll have the paper here with the wiring diagram It'd be pretty simple cut and dry why they couldn't send that with this is beyond me um, it must have paper must be expensive where they come from because it's I mean it's literally simple all you had to do was write that down and there wouldn't be any issues but regardless I will show everybody how it's wired up and do a demo of that before just so you can see the fitment I'm gonna take this down inside there and try to protect them wires the best I can I'm gonna take this bracket off just so you can see how the fitment is I'm not sure I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna do this there's a couple different ways I'm not trying to cut I could cut these wires at different length which would allow these butt connectors to be at different lengths to to go through here so they're not all going it's if you try to put them all in at the same time that hole is not going to be big enough you can see just two how much it clogs it you can imagine five trying to get through there with uh sheathing and everything else on it so not only that so i thought well i can put this up here and then run it through the side but as you can see there's no there's no holes there for it to run in the side I mean I, I might be able to to bend it around and then stick it up through here but then my wires are kind of you know they're kind of in there at an angle I'm not really it kind of pinches my wires in there I really don't like that to be honest with you would it work possibly I don't like it so I might just end up drilling this out making that a little bit bigger that hole there just so everything will fit or my other option is to send the wires through and then wire everything internally here and I might do that too just in case I ever want to go back to the stock unit that hole's not super big it's already there it's already done so I figured I'd show you that before I do some wiring and then uh, tested everything your black is your constant power coming back. Your green and yellow is your brake switch wire. Your green goes to your uh, license plate light. 
the orange goes to the left turn signal and blue goes to the right and then over here I have tail tidy everything in line yeah so that was fun not really um, yeah so we'll get it all buttoned up do kind of a review and uh, go from there stay tuned Your old light has these running through it. Oh, it's wet. I rinsed it. And then there's a, a nut on the back side of it. Now, when you get this kit, it'll come with these little spacers and no nuts. And it comes with an Allen head bolt. So what you do is put your spacers in through the rubber grommets like so. Line these up. And I just fed my wire straight through. I didn't open the hole. I just wired everything in the side here. And that'll sit like that. Now, I'm going to take some silicone and silicone around that crack just to try to prevent any type of water coming in there. I'm going to hand, hand tighten this for now, just for the video. Because I'm going to go back through and silicone it. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Hopefully. Might even put a washer behind. Might even put a washer behind there. But yeah, so it bolts up like that. Fitment honestly isn't too bad for what it is. Um, I still got these holes. I think I'm gonna take a small piece of metal. I got a pattern traced out of it, and then I'm gonna trace it, probably paint them black, and then run two self tappers into it maybe just because that's a big hole for water and mud to get up in so all right let me set this on and i'll plug it in and then we'll go from there be wired up correctly if not it'll blow a fuse and fry everything but i'm pretty confident that we got it so lights off we'll come up here key on power that shouldn't be blinking key on power running lights up front come to the back we got our tail light and then we have our license plate light it's constantly on so that's correct so now come here if i reach up and i hit the front brake that should be lighting up and it is it's lighting up right hit the brake release now if i hit the back brake back brace on release on release okay now come around here because i can't reach now, let's see might be hard for me to to do this let's set the camera up here quick maybe okay so now when i come up here i hit my right turn signal my right turn signal's flashing they say it's a hyper flash okay now I come over here, hit my left turn signal, my left turn signal, left turn signal, I hit the brake, still lighting up, everything should be working. I don't think I had a four-way on this, what's that do? Nothing, I don't, I don't believe I have a four-way, I don't think I do. I would come here, start the bike up, it's going to get a little loud. That's working. These are working. Headlights working. Everything should be working. Why they couldn't send directions? Uh, not too sure. But if you watch this video, it'll save you from blowing a fuse. Okay. So this giant hole here. This is what I come up with. I traced the pattern out. And then went ahead and. Put it in there. 
covers the hole pretty good. I just silicone around it. Honestly, it's pretty crude. I think they actually sell block off plates, but I didn't really want to spend any money. So I got these. It'll help keep a lot of the water and stuff out of there. So I'll go with that. Silicone it, paint it, never see it. So, all right. All right. So there it is. The tail tidy kit from Amazon. Uh, you can see the block off plate here. I put silicone around it. Did give it a little bit of paint. Looks pretty crude, but it's going to get scuffed and dirty anyways. Cleans up underneath here. Same thing on this side. Like I said, it's pretty crude, but covers the holes. That's all I was worried about. Turn the key on. Get the little CRF logo. Let's see if we can do this. Stretch out here. Brake light. Turn signal. Another turn signal. So yeah. There it is. Definitely cleans up the underneath before you would have had this bracket, which would have hung actually right where them bolt holes are. This bracket would have hung down here and you can get a side profile. R cleans that up. Looks better. At least if the tire does come up now it's not going to hit I mean you can get a better angle on this I was worried I mean it, there's lots of room there but this thing really stuck out now with that going really cleans it up oh. would I recommend this product no 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 um, it is one of the cheaper options out there i just wanted to try it see if it was any good i think i just put paint on myself uh they don't send you any instructions uh, thankfully i was able to figure it out and get it wired up properly they also don't send you any block off plates anything like that i have seen online there's other kits some of them don't have the integrated turn signals they use the stock turn signals that would come out the side. I have one, yeah. which I mean, it would, it's still, even with that, that's kind of how I started. Wouldn't be too bad. I just didn't have a, didn't have a mounting plate. I honestly thought about just using that, but it's done. It's in there now. Yeah, I would not recommend this. I would explore other options. Some of them come with the integrated light and they give you uh, block off plates for the turn signal housing. It's a lot, a lot more money, more expensive. And um, this thing's kind of chinzy, cheesy, but I'm going to put it through some tests, see if it actually works and then uh, see how it holds up. So if you like this video, comment down below if this wiring diagram or any of that helped you like comment subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one